How's it going everyone? My name is Nate and welcome to a CSGO video. Today I'll be talking about the major and what a quarterfinals it was. My picks are completely screwed now because Liquid got eliminated against Entz. They got shut out by Entz. Entz was probably the biggest underdog in this entire thing. And I went against them like most people did and they lost. Oh, sorry, they beat Liquid. Liquid lost to Entz. And Holy God, this major has just took a huge turn on what I thought about CSGO now. Astralis, that game, like that series, the beginning, the first map was, I think, a complete shutout, basically. I think it was like 16 to like 9 or something. And then the second map was close, but Astralis won 16-14, so I got that right pick. And then uh, Na'Vi actually surprised me a lot against um, against FaZe, uh, winning uh, 16 um 16, 4, uh, 13 in the first map on Inferno, and uh, 16, 7 uh, on their second map, which was Mirage uh, against FaZe. And truthfully, I'm surprised about how um, Navi played. Simple did the worst out of his team. He had a total KD of 1. He went 31 for 31 in both games. That is insane. Here, let's see, let's see, let's go to the corner finals and let's look at him. Look, game 1, almost at the bottom. Game 2... Almost at the bottom again. Zeus was at the bottom both times. Edward, Edward and Electronic and Flamey. Those were the two that really carried this team here, especially Flamey. Um, Flamey did phenomenally in both games. Very impressed. Now let's talk about the Liquid game. Holy cow, this was a fantastic game. Truthfully, by and, uh, Alu. Second map, Alu went off. You see that, 36 kills. My God, did he go off. Literally, just kill after kill after kill when the rounds mattered. Uh, Liquid was up 15 to, I think, 9 or 15, 8 or something. They could have thrown this game over. They could have won map 2. They could have won map 2. They could have won Inferno right here. But, oh, my God. And showed up in a big way, but, uh, especially because of X7. What X7 did on, uh, Inferno, you really got to check it out and how, like, the, the strategy worked. What uh, X7 did was that he drew attention in, uh, in apps, right? He would fire off a couple bullets just randomly, and that would draw attention to the A site. And what, uh, uh, what uh, Ents would do is they would just all out assault B. They, they completely took over the site. And truthfully, th uh, they, they outplayed Liquid. They outplayed the second best team in the world. So kudos to them. I'm screwed for my pickums now. So, and then the second, uh, and then, oh, sorry, the third game I'm going to talk about, MIBR versus Renegades. Now, this was today's match, uh, as I'm recording this, as well as the Strauss game. Oh, wow, 16-2. It was even worse than I thought. But, uh, yeah, um, this, uh, this MIBR game, where did, did, Renegades never showed up. I mean, look, Azur, 5-20. and 20. Uh, Lyaz, 9-16. and 16. Like, where are these guys? These, these guys didn't show up. And the map two, they kind of showed up, but once again, I mean, Azur came back from a horrible map one on Dust Two. Fur, I watched Fur. He absolutely crushed on everything. I'm pretty sure he, um, he he was playing all these really good angles. He was getting the frags when he needed to. Um, so MLBR just completely outplayed them. And truthfully, I mean, uh, I, I thought I was gonna go with the three O guys, but you know, they didn't have what it takes to beat MIBR. Like I said, my BR was still on that hot streak from the end of the group stage, and it was able to come out and beat uh, Renegades to move on to the semis. Now, obviously, everyone expected Astralis to win. There's not much I can say about here. Magisk is still doing what he's doing, and that's absolutely crushing people. Get right. My God. You're a little too old for the game, I think, man. He went 3-18. and 18. Oh, my God. And then like, he didn't do good. I think I think Get Right's getting a little a little old. He's at the end of his run. Um, Magisk absolutely crushing as usual, without a doubt. Zipnix, uh, still doing his thing. Uh, Device, Device opping again. He's he's incredibly good at that. Overall, this is a very weird major, and I'm telling you right now. I uh, originally I wanted to pick Navi to win, if they somehow come out and beat Ents, then Astralis. Beats MIBR or MIBR even beats Astralis, and then Navi beat Astralis or MIBR. That would be incredible. I mean, I would be upset that I lost the pick'em, but I would just be happy. Simple, flamey Zeus, 
Um, what am I saying? And Edward and Electronic, they all get their major uh, win. I think someone deserves it. Best player in the world. Didn't really show up uh, in the two games. He was kind of at the bottom, but I'm sure he got the frags when he needed to. Came out with two 3Ks in map one. Didn't do so hot. Map 2 and Mirage, but that's okay, because Electronic doing what he's doing. Doing what he needs to do. Overall, good major so far. I'm enjoying watching it. Surprised by Liquid, definitely. Surprised by Renegades. Not as much as Liquid, but holy crap, Ents. I want to see if you have what it takes to beat the number one player in the world. As in simple. Uh, but yeah, uh, March 2nd, which is tomorrow as I'm recording this. It will be map one, or I don't know if the maps, but it will be game one at 10 a.m. It will be Navi versus Ents, and then at 12, uh, sorry, at 1.50, MIBR versus Astralis. Can't wait to update you guys on those matches, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.